What is the most inoffensive thing you've seen someone get offended by? Using a walking stick. I was in a car accident a few years ago, and it fucked my leg up. Since then I've been using a walking stick. I was walking to shop, pre-pandemic, and an old bloke gave me the dirtiest look I've ever seen. What do you need a cane for? You're only a kid. He actually got quite pissy just seeing me using a stick. Like, my dude, I'm just out trying to buy some milk. I don't need your rest today. I didn't say that out loud. I just said it to myself after I got home. Tell him the car crash. Didn't ask for your ID first. I wouldn't be able to come up with this even in the shower. Backslash backslash backslash. My husband was in a wheelchair for a while. Got the same kind of too young BS. It worked for us. Maybe 22 years ago. I had a phone interview with a baking company. I didn't care to have my peers know what I was up to, so I took the call on my cell phone in my car. The call was crystal clear, and no technical issues. At one point, they had mentioned the weather, and asked how it was where I was. I told him that I was sitting in my car and I could see that it was actively snowing and whatnot. The interviewer asked me, are you taking this call on a cell phone? I told him I was. Then he asked me if I thought that was appropriate. I asked him what he meant by that. He said he thought it was kind of rude to take a formal call on a cell phone. I told him I would be more than happy to conclude the interview if talking on a cell phone was an issue. If he was interested, I'd be happy to continue it the next day when I'd be at a desk. He again repeated how rude he thought it was that I had called from a cell phone and that there was no need to continue the interview process. I disagreed with the first point, but did agree with the second. To this day, I wonder what the hell he was talking about and where he was coming from. Wow. Way to stamp I'm an aging worker who refuses to keep up with technology on his forehead. Only thing I can guess is the possibility of a dropped call. But like you said, it was completely clear. I think it's the idea that this person didn't set aside part of their day to go into their private telephone room in their home where they could take this call on a landline and instead took this call on cell phone between lines of cocaine and petty crimes. Hahaha <laughs> thank you for the laugh. I just want you to know. I'm writing this comment from my work desk. I'm not some unemployed sclub texting a comment on his cell phone slash cocaine table. One time someone got offended when I put on my seat belt. Thought I was commenting on her ability to drive. Same thing happened to me. The Uber driver said, do you wear your seat belt when you're with your dad? I said yes. What a stupid question Lmao. First of all, your dad could be an awful driver, but even if he's the most amazing driver in the world you can't do s when someone bones you with no time to react. Also, you're not my dad. Geo away or something. Apostrophe. I was at the vet with my cat and he sneezed. This was apparently very offensive to an elder woman. She was there with a corgi and she started screaming at me for about 30 minutes about pet hygiene. I'm sure her dog has done a lot worse in public. Yeah. She seemed like a person who doesn't pick up the poop of her dog. When I was a child, my mum paid for something with a check. The cashier remarked that my mum had nice handwriting my mum flew off the handle. And we had to storm out of the shop in outrage. To this day, I have no idea what happened. Maybe it brought up sore feelings from when she failed the doctor in transexams. Please go write for some show. This is the best cutaway joke that never happened. You actually thought you could be a doctor with handwriting like this. Turns papers around to reveal perfect calligraphic writing. Remember that one episode of The Mentalist when he convicted somebody of being a fake doctor because she had nice handwriting? I once listened to my boss try to lecture the fire marshal because he was talking about something being flame retardant. Her reasoning was you should just call it fireproof because retardant was an awful word. Close bracket. It was one of those times where I really should have tried to stop her, but instead I just stood off to the side probably making a surprised Pikachu face. I got an angry call from a client at the vet hospital I used to work at. She was angry that the doctor had written in her dog's chart something along the lines of chemotherapy has retarded the growth of the tumor. She was deeply offended that the vet called her dog retarded. Mom your dog isn't retarded you are. Ha 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 While that is true. 
The funniest misunderstanding I've ever witnessed with a client was an older woman who came in for a check of her dog and said the antibiotics we gave her weren't working and were too difficult for her to administer. Turns out, she misunderstood the directions on the bottle, give to capsules orally every 12 hours, and had been shoving them up her dog's ass. She got mad when the vet said ma'am have you ever been married? Jesus fucking Christ that poor dog. This is within a year after the DADT repeal. Part of the repeal was that, obviously, you can't make fun of people for their sexual preference. So calling people gay was out, was getting directions to a cowalker's house. He lived on Gay Street. Our supervisor got belligerent about how we can't say that, even after explaining how it was the street name. I had a cowalker who got mad at me because I asked her not to tickle me. That's inappropriate at work. B. We are not children. We are not in a relationship. We are not family. C. I don't like being tickled. She flipped out and said everyone likes being tickled and I was being mean to her. Happily my boss had my back. Edit. This happened over a decade ago. I don't work with that woman or for that company. In fact, even the company doesn't exist anymore. I'm also a woman. The cowalker was very young and immature. This was her first job. Her first time in a professional environment. And she really had no clue about professional workplace behavior. I wasn't upset because she truly thought she was being friendly. But I still don't like being tickled. Also some people start swinging punches when they get tickled. It's not safe to do it to anyone randomly. I kick when tickled so yeah. I agree. I almost bit my uncle's finger off when he was tickling me years ago. Safe to say he never done it again. I accidentally gave my uncle a black eye when he tickled me without warning. I can't bear it. It's so painful. I got in trouble in kindergarten for saying the word dead. Apparently it was too violent. In the Pokemon card days of school, me and my bud were showing off how cool our cards were. I said something along the lines of, yeah but mine has more heath it won't die as quick. Got a letter home to my parents. I'm curious as to how your parents responded. Lol my parents would send them a letter back asking if they're fucking joking. Emphasize the fucking. Good day. I'd like to inform you that someone is using your letterhead to send out stupid half-baked correspondence. See enclosed. I thought you might like to be aware. Regards. The Canadian flag told me that if they put up a Canadian flag in PA, the neighbors would come and shoot everybody. Not quite sure about the logic on that one. Some people are weird when it comes to flags. I live in a mostly Hispanic part of New York. You can't drive by a house without seeing a Puto Rican flag or a few American ones. One time a nation family moved here and put up a flag that had Buddha on it. A bunch of people bitched and Buddha was taken down. Apparently Buddha is racist, or the people giving the Asian family s were being racist. That's the only thing that makes any sense. I'm a disabled person. My life sucks because of my disability, and no longer being able to do the things I used to love makes me quite depressed sometimes. Some asshole tried to lecture me about how I was a blessed for wishing there was a cure for my disability. F me for not enjoying being in constant pain and possibly ending up in a wheelchair in the future I guess. I remember I once got in an argument with someone on Tumblr because they stated it's offensive for me to not want to have my anxiety and I should be proud of it. No thanks Becky. I'd rather be able to live my life without the constant feeling that something's going to go wrong. The pics are short lava. He walked out saying it was deeply offensive and didn't explain why. This is offensive to the volcano community. I'm erupting with rage. Kerfuffle. Erupting could be construed in a sexual manner. And therefore offensive. Oh I'm offended alright. Offended in a sexually aroused manner. I worked at a restaurant and we put up some Halloween decorations. We had to take them all down when someone found the glittery skull decoration offensive. Similar situation happened to me. I'm a nurse at a children's hospital. I was wearing Mickey Mouse Halloween scrubs which have little dancing skeletons on it. A visitor for one of my patients complained that I was wearing scary and inappropriate scrubs. I think the best part about that being scary is we all literally have skeletons inside of us right now.